Welcome to our lecture online. So here's the video with capacitors in series. Now let's first calculate the total capacitance and the total capacitance needs to be calculated differently here. Here we know or we should know that 1 over C total equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Now of course if there's more than 2 then it would be plus 1 over C3 plus 1 over C4 and so forth. So, right? so it would be plus you know, 1 over C3 plus 1 over C4 plus if you have more and more and more capacitors in series. But in this case we're only going to consider two of them. And if there's only two of them there's an easier way to write that equation. In other words, we can write that 1 over C total is equal to the common denominator would be C1 times C2. So this would be C2 plus C1 over the product C1 times C2. And then if we take the inverse of that, we can write that C total is equal to the product C1 C2 over the sum C1 plus C2. And so with only two capacitors in series, that would be the easier equation, the product over the sum, or you can also calculate it like this. And if there's more than two, then you have no choice but to go ahead and write it out like that. All right, so now they have the total capacitance. Hmm, what do we do as far as finding the total charge? And it turns out that when capacitors are in series, they all must have the same amount of charge on them. Now, why is that? Well, if the battery pushes one charge onto the plate of the first capacitor, that will push a positive charge away and moves to the second capacitor, that will push a charge away, it goes back to the battery. So for every one charge you put on the first capacitor, you will push a charge onto the second capacitor. And it doesn't matter about what size they are, they will have the same charge on them. That does mean that if the capacitor is smaller, like the 4 microfarad capacitor relative to the 6 microfarad capacitor, it will require more of a push, more voltage to put the same amount of charge on there as in the 6 microfarad capacitor. So you'll see later that the voltage drop across this capacitor will be bigger than the voltage drop across that capacitor. So what we can say, however, that charge total is equal to the charge on the first capacitor, which is equal to the charge on the second capacitor. So the charge on all capacitors is the same. So how do you find the total charge? Well, we have the total capacitance, and we have the equation that the capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage. And so in this case, you can say that uh, Q is equal to C times V, or the total charge will be the total capacitance times V. And V is, of course, the voltage pushing the charge on there, so in this case, the total capacitance will be C1, C2. Well, actually, let's work it out. So this would be equal to uh, 4 microfarads times, or actually, I should put it in the right order, shouldn't I? I'll make this a 6 microfarad capacitor times a 4 microfarad capacitor divided by the uh, 6 microfarad capacitor plus the 4 microfarad capacitor. So that would be 24 divided by 10, or 2.4 microfarads. So you can see that when capacitors are hooked up in series that the total capacitance will be less than the smallest of the capacitors in series. So now that we have the total capacitance, we can use that in this equation. So this would be 2.4 microfarads multiplied times the 10 volts that pushes them on there. So this would be 24 microcoulombs of charge and that means that Q1 equals Q2 equals Q total equals 24 microcoulombs. So all of the capacitors in series will have the same charge, which then equals the total charge onto that equivalent circuit, so to speak. All right, next what we should do is find the voltage on each. Now notice we can use the same equation and say that the voltage on the first capacitor will be equal to the charge on the first capacitor divided by the first capacitor's capacitance. And so in this case, that would be equal to 24 microcoulombs divided by C1, which is 6 micro, micro uh, farads. That's equal to 4 volts. So there's 4 volts potential difference across the first capacitor. Let's find out what it is for the second capacitor. So V2 will be equal to Q2 over C2. Now, of course, Q2 is the same as Q1, which is the same as the Q total, which is 24 microcoulombs divided by 4 
microfarads and the ratio there would be 6 so 6 volts and notice that when you add the two together you do get up to 10 volts so I have a 4 volt drop across here and a 6 volt drop across there with other words to push 24 micro coulombs of charge onto the first capacitor you need a voltage of 4 volts and to push the same charge on a smaller capacitor the 4 microfarad capacitor you will need 6 volts to do that and the combined voltage is 10 volts so you can say that V1 plus V2 will equal V total of course 4 plus 6 equals 10 volts and that checks out and that is what you do when you have capacitors in series